is Action Sports Jacks, Jags Report Live. Coming to you live from Sneakers, sponsored by Anna Jar and Levine, Accident Attorneys. I think we're at a good point in our season now um, as a new Jaguars team to decide, are we going to turn the table and be something new, or are we going to fall into old habits? I like that about Zay Jones right there. Keeping it real. Jaguars in a three-game losing streak. They got to fix this thing. There's a lot to like about what the Jags are doing in different parts of these games. So they're going to win football games. As you say, Dan, it's a results-oriented business. It is. And if you want to look at a glass half full, and, and we'll do that for just a quick second. Look, they're in every game. They got chances to win. Yeah. That wasn't the case one season ago. So we're going to talk about it tonight here at Sneakers. Come on out, and uh, we will uh, discuss the Sunday sadness of the Jags. Taking one on the chin to those Indianapolis. Colts. Yeah, Brent Martin, Dan Hick, and Evan Ingram, Jack's tight end, would yeah. notice in just a couple of moments that offense got going. We were just talking about this before the show, and it could have been a totally different oh. storyline. Everybody who had asked Trevor Lawrence in this offense to deliver in the clutch, they did it and just couldn't hang on, and it feels so different when you do it in a win or a loss. Yeah. And, well, speaking of the loss, it's on the pass defense, really, Dan. Yeah. I mean, you look at some of these numbers. They said, Matt Ryan, we have no offense, so we need you to win it for us. And he did. Honestly, I didn't think Matt Ryan still had this left in him. No. 42 out of 58. He was really good. you got to give him credit. Yeah, that's a team that's averaging 14 points a game, scoring 34, and it was dink and dunk and dink and dunk and dink and dunk and dink and dunk to death for that Jaguar defense yesterday and they tried some different things but in the end they simply could not get to Matt Ryan it was three steps poof, get it out and Pittman had a career day and the Jags uh, defensively really struggled but there was a shining moment and that was a fourth quarter drive engineered by Trevor Lawrence that went what 18 plays 18 plays 10 minutes I mean really put a in position to win the game and did a little bit of everything. Big time throws to Zay Jones on third and 12 and third and 13. Mm -hmm. Again, we're going to dissect this more, but used his legs. I thought Doug Peterson got in a groove on the drive. He was brilliant too. And the Jags executed, man. That was a big moment. And even in a loss, that should be a big moment for this offense, for that young man right there, and maybe even for the fan base in Jacksonville. Unfortunately, it's going to come with a loss. Hey, let's mm -hmm. welcome in Evan Ingram, Jags tight end for the first time here on Jags Report. All right. He'll join us a few times this year and and it was a nice moment. It felt like your offense felt like Trevor kind of needed that drive. And, and it's got to give you guys confidence going forward from an offensive perspective. Yeah, it was a, it was a huge step for us. Um, like you said, obviously it was, came out in the loss, which is tough. Um, as offense, we got to be good enough to win those games. But um, it was a huge moment for us um, down, having to go get six. Um, putting that many plays together um, and finishing with a touchdown was huge for our confidence, huge for our swagger and our standard of what we want to be going forward, and uh, we just got to continue to build on that. Evan, what do the numbers 63, 64, and 65 mean to you? 63, 64, <laughs> I have no clue. That's All right, well, I'll tell you. That's what I'm here for. Yeah, what is this, multiple <laughs> choice of when you were born? No, no, that's when I was born, 63. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, 63, 64, and 65. 63 catches, 64 catches, and also 65 catches your last year at Ole Miss. Those are your career highs both oh, in wow. college and in the National Football League. You're off to a great start here already this season with, I think, 24 grabs. So just talk a little bit about how you feel like you're kind of learning and f getting into this offense. I'm growing each and every day. Yeah. Um, I'm really growing. Um, and, and I'm lucky to be around a great staff and a great team that um, how hard we work together, uh, the camaraderie we have um, each and every day of, of executing our game plan on Sundays. Um, and I just take a lot of pride in improving as a player myself um, so I can be able to go make those plays and uh, make those blocks for my team and, and for us to score points. You gambled on yourself, too. I think Jags might have been interested in signing Evan Ingram to a longer deal. But you said, hey, a one-year deal, let's see what I got. And why did you do that? And how's that working out so far for yeah, you? Yeah, um, just the opportunity presented itself. Um, I, the past years in my career um, have been a little tough. Um, Production-wise, winning-wise, and um, I know the, the type of player I am. I know how talented I am, and in um, and, and a beautiful and, and very productive system like this, um, I know I can be productive and, and, and grow under a coach like uh, Doug Peterson. So um, it was just a good, good opportunity. The Jags uh, took a chance, and I took a chance on myself and them too. And um, like I said, it's a, it's a process each and every day that we're growing through and we're working through, and um, hopefully I can continue to produce and help the team to win. Evan, the NFL is a funny thing, and lo and behold, here we go. We look at the schedule, and look who's up next, the New York football giants, who when we looked back 
At the beginning of the year, we thought, all right, that's a good win. We'll get a win there. That's what we do as fans, right? We look at this is a win. This is a tough one. This is a win. And, uh, boy, they're playing some good football up there. Uh, five and one right now. Uh, they've changed a few things around there. They're doing well. But you've got to be looking forward to seeing some old friends and competing against the Giants. Yeah. No, they're rolling. Man. They're rolling. Um, they're winning those close games. Yeah. Uh, that, you know, in the past years, those games – up there we would lose um, and uh, now they're finding a way to win them and I'm happy for those guys and um, mostly everybody is healthy and those guys are excited to get down to Jacks and we're all excited to compete against each other. Well listen every guy that comes on this show I feel like we ask about number 16 and the progress of Trevor Lawrence here in year two he's played 20 what uh, three. three games yeah. now. Uh, what's your take on Trevor being around him this offseason through camp and now six games in? Uh, uh, what should the fan base like, and, and what do you like about yeah, I mean, Trevor? It's, he, he, shows, he shows flashes, and he shows how capable he is uh, every day, um, really. And you guys really see it on Sunday. Um, but, I mean, us as players and his teammates, we see it every single day. Um, the way he works, the way he communicates, the way he shows up, his demeanor each and every day, um, to execute the game plan, to, to get on the same page um, with the receivers and the offensive line in the back. So... Um, he's had some success, and there's been some adversity that every player goes through, um, and he's learning from. And uh, yesterday was a big step for him as well, just that, that moment um, that we had to step up and go score. Um, he, he was in control of the huddle. Uh, we, we felt his confidence, and even today he mentioned he felt ours. So uh, it's something that, you know, is he's, uh, he's a really talented man. The sky's the limit for him, and um, I think he's approaching everything the right way too. Evan mentioned the game plan. Let's check that out. It's time for the game plan, sponsored by TIAA Bank. Well, here's a look at the numbers, right? 20 to 22, 165 wasn't yeah. an enormous yards day, but efficient day. I mean, it's 90 percent day throwing the football. Talk about accurate. He went 25 or 30 against Indy the last time around, and he ran like usage of the legs at the right time. He even had a couple of QB sneaks around here. Yeah, they were all great except that fourth and one, Evan. I wasn't a big fan of that option thing to the right. I mean, we were <laughs> just <laughs> <laughs> only if it worked. But but he did have one where he rolled to the he right did. and picked up a first, first down. So here's, here's yeah. Trevor after uh, after. <laughs> the game it's hard to win you got to play well like you're not gonna you're not gonna luck into any wins in the NFL you got to play a complete game offense defense special teams um, and you can't let up at all you know you can't take a breath power play of the week sponsored by IBEW local 177 powering Jacksonville since 1912 all right you know how a good play a power play look at this this is blocked up Perfectly. I mean, that must. Evan, how good did that look on tape today? As you guys watch that today, I mean, that's perfect, right? Yeah. No, that's our standard. That's that's us. Um, everybody doing their job uh, for one play, um, and uh, that's a big play for Hasty. He came in. Yeah. Um, after training camp, and has, has been working really hard. So it was awesome to see him bu bu burst out of there for the uh, touchdown. I was so open. I thought they might have blown the whistle, and everybody just stopped playing. Yeah. <laughs> it was that easy. Are right, there are some good things going on offense now? As we welcome everybody back to Jags Report Live at Sneakers in Jack's Beach, and. One of these things, quick game to Evan Ingram there. How good is Trevor at getting the ball out, getting it over to you guys, and how much is timing a part of this, Evan? Uh, so, I mean, first of all, his, uh, his release time on this quick game stuff is awesome to see. Um, he does it really well in practice. It's something that we can really hang our hat on as offense. Um, to get the ball out in space, we have so many playmakers that can be special in space with the ball. So um, it's a big point for us going forward. It's, it's kind of like an extended run game for us. These quick, quick game throws get us five or six yards, maybe bust out a big one is big for us. When you go into the game and you know the game plan, are there certain games where, okay, I'm, I think I'm going to get more targets than not? And do you know that going into the game? Are you aware of kind of this could be a big day for me if, if things yeah, go my I way? Mean, I mean, we, we, we try to spread the ball around really well. Yeah, um, everybody, gets, guys, yeah. everybody gets all their reps and practice. We work on a lot of things. Um, and then as the flow of the game comes, those plays may get called. They may not. Um, somebody might have a big day, bigger day than somebody else. Um, some things might be working. It's, it's all about what kind of the defense uh, presents itself as. But um, everybody's ready. Uh, we're all ready to, to have our number called for sure. You're in a contract here, man. You might want to drop more bottles of wine off at Doug's <laughs> office or something like that. Uh, speaking of Doug, he, the play calling has been more creative. Yeah. This play with Jamal Agnew might have been one of the most creative plays I've seen in my 15 years here in Jacksonville. Yeah. Yeah. These fun to run when you practice them. Yeah, I mean, when you have a special talent like Jamal Agnew, um, who's so give him the touchdown. Yeah, yeah, we we <laughs> definitely thought it was six. Um, but uh, I mean, he's so electric with the ball in the in the special teams game, and so um, he has a role in the offense as well. So get him in space, get him the touch. Um, get, get him to touch the ball and go score for us. He's been big all year. All right, I want to take everybody through this drive of the day. Let's check it out. The drive of the day, driven by your local Ford dealers. 
All right, let's start with early on a big play right here for the Jaguars. Trevor's back to pass, and we get the penalty on that yeah. one. Yeah, uh, big big play by, by Zay to draw the penalty. It was a double move outside. The morning to attack these corners. Um, it, it was a, a big play for us to keep the drive going in, yeah. in a big moment. Yeah, we don't want to be punting down there. No, so you get bailed out a little bit there, and then uh, we go to the next one, and I think it's third and 13 play yep. uh, for the Jacksonville Jaguars. And how about this throw? Yeah, yeah it, this is Zay Jones and Trevor Lawrence at his best. Um, Zay running an elite route, great body language, um, slams down on one foot to get to the sideline, and Trevor stands in the pocket and makes a great Throw. Yeah, that was terrific. And what is that? Uh, Trevor. So he, yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. But uh, just a little square out there. That's right? it. But That's you got to hit him, and it was but, perfect. Dropped yeah. it in there both betwe between the two. All right. How about Trevor Lawrence with his legs? He had this part going too. And again, it's another critical third down. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, we we have a, a pretty fast quarterback, so uh, uh, we we <laughs> like to get the edge. Yeah. And our offensive line is really athletic. We have great backs, so anytime we can get the edge. I'm um, going to get those guys out there blocking and get our speed behind them. Um, it's a good play for us. All right. Well, we got to get you in here on this drive. I mean, you did have a reception. And these are first downs, but they keep these drives in manageable situations other than the third and 12 and third and 13s. Yeah. Um, our, our big thing here is just staying ahead of the chains, you know, getting right. in the second and short, second and four or five. You know, we can manage that or get to a third and short and manage that. Um, that's just staying ahead of the game um, and just – my number was called, try to make a play, be creative, be smart with the football team. And the initial hit, you know, you, you want to get as many yards as you can. Mm -hmm. If you can drag a guy two or three yards like you did on that, that's a, that's a big positive. Yeah, that's big. I'm um, trying to break through arm tackles, um, yeah. being the physical runner, making them tackle us. Um, it's another standard for us. Yeah. All right, then check out the scramble. This was a big one. It got it, the Jags inside the red zone. I think 13-yard right. pickup for Trevor. Hey, nothing's there. Go ahead. He looked like he wanted to give it to Zay for a minute, but he just faked him out. And he chews up some chunks, Dan. <laughs> Gets those long legs going, yeah. huh, Evan? All right. Like you said. Well, let's finish it off with a touchdown. How about this design? Yeah. Um, this it was almost a touchdown for me. I know. Uh, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> I, got it, I got it every time in practice, but uh, this, it's, 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 Christian stays alive here, and that's part of the scheme. And um, they sniffed it out. They jumped it. Trevor did a really, actually, a good job of really squaring his shoulders out to me, making those guys feel it. And Christian slipping behind them. It was a great, great uh, execution. Now, you know there's a couple minutes left, so you know, and you know the defense is struggling a little bit, so you know the game's not over at this point. But nonetheless, it has to be a great feeling of accomplishment. <laughs> hey, fourth quarter, we need to get it done. We got it done. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, when we, when, we, when we drive down and have a drive like that and take the lead, it, yeah. we put the game in their hands, yeah. and they have to go earn it. Um, and unfortunately, you know, they, they put a drive together and went and scored, and, um, and, and they won the game, so they definitely earned it. And I, but that's, that's what we want to do. We want to go take the lead and make them earn that. Um, and I think another day, another time, our defense is going to learn from this, and, and they'll, they'll capitalize on those situations. Hey, Dan, it's Jay Fun Week in Jacksonville. All right. Jaguars and look at our guys. Say hello there to Mila. She's a Giants fan. She'll be here for the coin toss. And oh. that's her brother Nico as well. And what also, up, Nico? Uh, on the left there is Xander. He will be out there as well for the coin toss, representing the Jaguars. So Jags, Giants, coin toss coming up on Sunday as part of the Jay Fund. And, of course, uh, we do so much here in Jacksonville with Action News Jackson oh, as yeah. well to celebrate uh, all the good work being done by Tom Coughlin and the J-Fund here in the River City. Welcome back to Jags Report Live. I'm Brett Morton, Dan Hick, and Evan Ingram, Jags tight end. And I'm going to go around the NFL a little bit. How about Sauce Gardner, man? He's man, pretty good, first oh, of all. man. Yeah, he is. But are uh, you allowed to do this as a rookie in the league? No. Uh, Evan, are you allowed to put a cheese head on your head hey, when you win? Man. But if you win at Lambeau, are you allowed to move. do that? It's a good move. <laughs> winning, winning in Green Bay at Lambeau, it's, it's a pretty good move. I heard, and I didn't see it, but somebody told me that Alan Lazard, who played here, yeah. uh, knocked the cheese head off he his did. head. He did, yeah. I saw the clip, yeah. <laughs> that did happen. Somebody a reminiscent of uh, a, a T.O. at the Star way back when yes, in Dallas. Yes, there you Remember? go. Remember? That is, that's a good came point. up and blew him up. Yep. And how about, I guess, Kirk Cousins uh, putting a lot of bling on? Well, do they still say that? Hey, I, I mean, I, I don't think much, that works. Evan, much, that doesn't work for me. What do you think? How much money is that right there? <laughs> a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> Who wears the most jewelry in the Jags locker room? Cam Robinson. Ah. He got some, uh, he oh, got he some got, nice. He got a decent paycheck, didn't he? This well, listen, offseason. now, to Kirk's credit, they are 5-1. and one, <laughs> they So are. they're they playing are. good football. Hey, take a look at Jack's injuries. Keep an eye on this this week, especially uh, with Jamal Agnew uh. now. And that happened in the middle of the game. They had to rotate things around because they were already without Marvin Jones, which happened like on Friday. So we'll see what happens with the hammy and the knee of those guys. And Foley Fadakasi, I think they're trying to get him back. He's been back on the practice field. Got to get see, him healthy, though. It'd be good to be healthy against yeah. Saquon Barkley on Oof. Sunday, I can tell you that. Yeah. Let's bring in Action Sports Jack's Olivia Tassley. She has more on those pesky knee injuries.
This injury report is brought to you by Flagler Health, orthopedic specialists. Head coach Doug Peterson announced today that Jamal Agnew is day to day with a knee strain. Now that's a very ambiguous term because there are a handful of different ligaments, tendons and tissues you can tear or strain in your knee. One of them could be the patella tendon. For more on what it means to tear your patella, I'll hand it over to Dr. Jeffrey Keene at Flagler Health Plus. So a patella tear, if somebody said, you know, I have a tear of their patella, it's not probably, you didn't tear the bone, which is yeah. the patella of the kneecap. You probably tore the one of the attachments to the patella. You could tear the patellar tendon, the one that is associated with jumper's knee, mm -hmm. that's the tendon below the kneecap, mm -hmm. uh, or you can tear the quadriceps tendon, the tendon that attaches above to the superior pole of the patella. That's not as common. Uh, in, in young athletes, it can happen, um, but uh, uh, it's typically a strain of the quad tendon or a patellar tendon that we would typically see. Agnew joins two other Jags players with knee injuries, Ben Barch, who's out for the season, and Caleb on Chason, who we are expected to see later in the year. For the Flagler Health Plus Injury Report, I'm Olivia Tassley, Action Sports Jax. My job is so easy this year as the owner of the Sunshine and Rainbow. So what do you got? Every game, there's something good, man. I mean, this isn't just a complete disaster, okay. right. even in losses. How about the running backs? All three of them. Oh. Travis Etienne, okay. James Robinson, Jamichael Hastie. Okay. They were all good. Yeah. Ran for 243 yards. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, everybody said, run the ball, Doug. He did. 33 hey, yards. Evan, 33 you, think, you think Etienne should have scored on that one where he broke free to the left? He's fast. I, was, I, was, I thought I mean, he might the, be able to the get dude, there. The dude that got him, he was rolling too. Yeah, yeah. yeah they, it, it was a good, good angle. angle. It was a good yeah. angle. Okay. Um, ETN did say he should have scored. Would you guys it. give him grief for that though? Nah, no. Nah, okay. No. Nah. He, right. run, he runs hard, man. He runs hard. <laughs> he man. does. He takes some shots too. They might Ooh. give this guy a he gets little right grief. Up. Yeah. He, he gets does. Right up. It's time for What Florida, sponsored by North Florida Epoxy Floors. All right, it's a tough deal for the other number one overall pick as of late these last couple weeks. Yeah, but this one wasn't as egregious. This was kind of in the flow of the game. I think this is unlucky. Yeah, I mean, it's sort of, you know, look, you're, you're, you're playing aggressive here. The other one was dumb. This one is like, you know, he's trying to get in there and get, he's reaching out. I mean, I think it happens. Yeah, I think that one happens. I got to give him a break. at a bad time. They yeah. didn't stop him since the 843 minute mark of the second quarter. They got him off the field on third and 12 yeah. there and then get the penalty. And uh, that's unfortunate. All right, tell us about the old Miss days, man. How, how fun were those? Man, it was a great four years. Great four years. Uh, we won a lot of games. We kind of changed the culture there. I like to, like to say we laid the way for these young kids to wear their ball in now. Um, getting a lot of good talent coming to Ole Miss and believing in it. Um, and, uh, and they're rolling right now. Hopefully we can you know, finish the year out. A couple more big wins. I've um, got Bama, I've got LSU coming up this week. So in the Egg Bowl at the end of the year. So it's... Uh, SEC's tough, but those guys look really good right now. Don't you let Auburn snare, snare your coach. <laughs> no. Don't you let Auburn do it. They're going to try, I'm telling you. Uh, we just beat them. We just beat Auburn. I know. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a better place is what he's saying. Evan yeah. Ingram, nice job on the show, man. Thank you, Evan. That was a good tryout for you. We'll yeah, do it no, again I, down I the road. I feel comfortable. You guys made it really easy for me. I appreciate it. <laughs> hey, now go beat the Giants, all right? Good luck against okay. your old Thank team you on yeah. Sunday. We'll see everybody at the bank. Hope you have a good night. We'll see you next Monday here. Jags Report Live. Hey, the bank's going to be rocking the next couple weeks now. Let's I got go. Giants game and then four to Georgia right after that. Have a good week, everyone. Thanks for watching Jack's Report Live. <laughs>